Let's look at a chemical reaction, and we'll cast the change in concentration over time, the rate of the reaction, of a reactant in terms of the change in concentration over time for a product. Now, the change in concentration over time is the slope of the concentration versus time curve, and we could start at any initial concentrations and let this reaction go. In this case, how does the initial rate of change of H plus concentration re relate to the zinc ion concentration? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, the rate should be the opposite sign for the other reactant, or B, the rate should be the same, they don't depend on stoichiometry, or C, initial rates depend upon stoichiometry and H plus is consumed at twice the rate. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about writing an initial rate for a chemical reaction, and we can write initial rates in terms of changes in concentration over a change in time. And we do that for the various products and reactants, and what you notice for this chemical reaction, as the hydrogen ion concentration will always change at a rate that's twice the zinc ion concentration. That is, two hydrogen ions will be consumed when a zinc ion is produced. So two things will happen. The rates, if I cast it in terms of the zinc ion, should have the opposite sign, and there should be a factor of two. And that is, of course, C here. The rate of change of hydrogen ions looks like twice minus the rate of change of the zinc ion concentrations. In this case, the correct answer is C.